Welcome to our first video in what will hopefully be a comprehensive series on how to perform some of the more complex functions in CGMBET. If you want to purchase this software there is a link in the description below. We are not affiliated with CGMBET but just love using their software. In this video we will take a deep dive into the advanced gold stats module of the software. This module allows you to create endless scenarios so you can see the outcome of the historical matches to find out whether your strategy would be profitable or not. So without further ado, let's open the module and get started. So I was asked by a member of the Trading the Market Discord channel, which is linked below, how they would profile games that were either 2-0 or 0-2 at 80 minutes. This particular user was interested in the likelihood of there being another goal after 80 minutes. This all sounds relatively simple, but as the software is so comprehensive, people sometimes struggle to know where to start. Let's begin. For this demo, we're just going to concentrate on the English League since 2019. You could include every match in the database for every league going back to 2005, but that is going to take a lot of processing and a good deal of time. I've set the English Leagues up in the settings. We may do a video on this another time, but there are plenty of other videos on YouTube that will also show you how to do this. I'll take the steps slowly so you can follow along or make notes if you prefer. So firstly we need to set up our conditions for what we are looking for. We'll select 2-0 to the home team initially and we need this to happen any time between the first and the 80th minute. So we tick the box to say that this happens at any time and we'll make that 80. Now we also do the same for the away team leading 2-0 in the same time period and we also need to set the score as being 2-all as per our criteria. Now this needs to happen at exactly 80 minutes so we don't tick the box and we just put the value there of 80. Now obviously the score can't be 2-0 and 0-2 at the same time between 80 minutes so we need to apply some custom logic. So to do this we use the condition names we've got down the left hand side here C1, C2 and C3. So if we click on custom and we clear out what is already in there so we put bracket C1 or C2 and C3. So what this means is that the score can be 2-0 or 0-2 between 1 and 80 minutes and 2-2 at 80 minutes. So with that all in place now we've got one final step which is optional that I like to, to include because it makes it easier to read the, uh, the actual results. We just need to calculate the outcome of games between the 81st and the 90th minute because we know it's going to be a draw at 80 minutes because that's what we've told it's in the criteria. So if we click on calculate here and we let the software do its magic and process all of the games that are in the time span that we've selected, so English leagues between 2019 and 2024. So just let that carry on for a while. And there we go. So the software has evaluated 14,178 games. Uh, out of those, only 188 meet our criteria. So it's not a massive sample size. So definitely don't adopt this as a strategy without further analysis. Uh, it's worth always checking some of the results to make sure they're telling you what you expect. So looking at the top game, Chelsea v Arsenal, um, Arsenal were two up after twenty. So Chelsea were two up after twenty minutes. Arsenal came back to two two, and Chelsea took the lead in the eighty first minute. So that does meet our criteria. I've uh, been uh, two nil, then two two at eighty minutes, and in this game there was another goal after that. Let's pick another game at random, the Man United v Leeds game. So in this one, Leeds were 2-0 up. Manchester United came back to 2-2, which was the score at 80 minutes. But in this game, there were no further goals. So we can see that this also agrees with our logic and we appear to have formed our 
query correctly. So looking at the panel on the far right, we can see that um, out of those 188 games that met our criteria, there were 81 that had at least another goal, 16 that had two or more goals, three that had three more goals, and two that had four more goals. So clicking on each of the, one of these lines, so if we click on the one that had more, more than three and a half goals, we can then filter just to look at those two games in particular. So in the Charlton, the Ipswich game, Ipswich were 2 0 up, Charlton came back to 2 2 by the 80th minute, and then there were four goals in injury time. Wow, that's, that's some game. In the other game, Altrincham were 2 0 up at Torquay, who got it back to 2 2 by the 80th minute. And Torquay actually took the lead in the 81st minute, it was 3 all after 85, and then a goal apiece in injury time made it 4 4. So, again, some game. Now this is a good starting point, but we can play around a little bit more and tweak our scenario to try and find out what the optimum criteria is for whichever strategy you're, you're looking at. So we can see, picking every game in the English leagues that match that, 21.81% were won by the home team. But what if we were just looking at where the home team were the odds on favourites? So if we filter between 1 and 1.9 I'll do and refresh the link, the data, sorry. So we can see that the number of games that have now been evaluated has dropped to 3,603, and out of these, only 46 meet our criteria. We can see that 21.74 of these games are now home wins, so it hasn't really made much of a difference. Um, this is just to highlight that you can play around with different scenarios and different data settings uh, once you've got the um, the core data and you uh, you can see that it is all correct. If you have found this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe so that we can produce more similar content in future. Thank you for watching.